Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. So I'm very confident that the world will return back to normal and people will once again be traveling all around. So I'm still going to be making videos to help you travel guides, tips. This episode is gonna be about how much spending money for two weeks in Japan you will need. During my two amazing weeks in Japan, I went to Tokyo, Kobe, and Osaka. So let's dive into how much it all cost. First things first, you need to save your money. If you haven't watched my Sense of Adventures Part 3 guide, I would check that out first and then come back to this video. And if you already watched it, then thank you and let's move on. For flights, we did use our points to book a round trip flight on Singapore Airlines. So for us, that was $200 total for two people round trip. Um, but if you don't have the airline miles, uh, you can look at Skyscanner. I really love them for booking or you can get, if you have time, you can get some travel rewards credit cards and try to accumulate points to pay for your long haul flight. Our accommodation was $1,237. This was for one week in Tokyo at $884. We had an Airbnb in Shinjuku. It wasn't the best Airbnb, um, we were a decent walk from the metro, but we didn't mind just because we were in Tokyo and it was just awesome to walk around anyways. And in Kobe, we spent $272.36. We stayed at the American Hotel. I'll leave a link to that in the blog post. And we took the train to Osaka for only one night before we caught a flight to Thailand. So that was $80.35. For food and drink, we spent $793. $230 of that was in Tokyo and $500 of that was in Kobe. And a major reason for that is because Sandra spent over $200 on a Kobe steak dinner. Um, and then in Osaka, we spent $63. Still, for two weeks, that's not a lot on food and drink. Um, a major savings for us is that we didn't we didn't drink a lot on this trip and we also shopped at the supermarket daily and we had some of our meals at our airbnb when we were in tokyo for that week transportation was 449 dollars the big the big expense for this was the bullet train from tokyo to kobe that was 280 dollars for two tickets um, and then Tokyo local transportation was $128. We used the Suka card and Kobe was $11. <laughs> that was the city loop bus pass that we bought. If you haven't watched my video on Kobe, you should, cause I think it's a really good video um, and it was a great city. So I hope you watch it. Um, and then the train from Kobe to Osaka was $30. Attractions. This was $233. We did a lot of things, but sake tasting in Kobe was 30, the ropeway in the herb garden 20, Team Lab borderless in Tokyo was $60 for two tickets. That is pretty pricey, but it was worth it. So I highly recommend that. Senso G activities were $2 and basically that was to make a wish and see what our fortune was. <laughs> Arcade games, $8 in Tokyo. Rides at the Dome, $5. Um, street cart tip, $5. And Tokyo Disneyland was $103. Shopping was $169. Pretty much me. Shopping in Harajuku, I bought a Lolita dress for $162 and I do not regret it. And Kit Kat candy to take home was $7. Now, if you watched my travel budget breakdown video, I I mentioned that I don't shop a lot when I travel. Um, when I went to Tokyo, I knew I was gonna buy a Lolita dress well before I went. Um, but if not, I mean, we spent $7 on Kit Kats to take home, so we don't do a lot of shopping. Okay, laptop is charging, so we're gonna continue on in here. If you do plan to move around, then get the Japan Rail Pass to help you save money. And also, if you plan to eat sushi at the conveyor belt sushi restaurants, make sure you pay attention to the pricing structure. It goes off of the designs of the plates. 
So if you just grab any plates, some could be 100 yen and some could be 300 yen, 400 yen, um, and then your tab can run up very quickly. So make sure you look at the like the plate legend price menu thing before you start grabbing plates off the conveyor belt. You can also save money on accommodation by staying in a capsule hotel. We didn't do that. We stayed in Airbnb, which was still cheap compared to hotels. Um, but I do, I have heard that the capsule hotel, the, the capsule hotel. Our total spending money for Japan for two weeks for two people was $2,881 or $102 per person per day for two weeks. So that is all I had for you. I hope this helped and I hope it helped you realize that Japan is not as expensive to travel to as many people may lead you to believe. Um, if you did like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next episode.